Last recording from the for tonight. I've been recording five or six videos today. All right, Julie continues to work on her flat chain. She's very young. Blah blah blah. What are you working on? I'm doing what I've done since I was little. Archery. You can purchase my work. It's my awesome, it, but it'll do the job. That was a long time to devote to one profession. I came with my parents in Arvin, into Arvin when I was six. Since then, I've always been fascinated by archery. The elegant curves, the iron tipped shafts, make as they pass through the air. The satisfaction of air isn't true. And now, when people need arms with anything, I'm honored and proud to be able to help. You're banished to Avenue as a child? Usually, children aren't. I should have been left on the service as a relative, but all my relatives were already down here. You see, a local noble wanted our family land, so he had us all banished, one by one. So here I am. I already be on the surface, true, but this is my home now, and I help fight for it. May I produce your goods? The highest quality armor and weaponry in Avernum, and Julie's Dharma is famous for that. And her archery supplies are no exception. She has a U-bow. We already have one. We also found a. Uh, this is nice stuff. Good stuff. However, we found a blessed bow in the storerooms. Uh, I can't. Can I not sell you any? You don't wish to buy anything I have. Will you buy stuff that I... You will actually buy the things that I have. Stop it. Wand of ice. Wand of ice. We have... Uh, shield ring with your skill. Blessed arrows. Flaming sword. Steel arrows. Razor disc. Shame I wish I don't know what it is. Scrap of vellum. A torch. Historical scroll. Rack. Did I not talk to a person about these records? Whatever. Toadstools. I'm keeping that. Candles. But why did I sell the mushrooms? I need those. Uh, scroll of ice lances. Wand of slowing. Uh, Fletcher shield ring. Skill ring. Flaming sword. Assassin's dagger. Regular gloves I don't need. Important records. Lot picks weird mean I will keep that. Uh, don't wish to have that or that. I said I'd sell them off screen and I chose not to. Whatever. Now you use a blessed short sword, even though it's nice. Errors of light, and prior records, lot picks. Energy potion, we'll keep that. Healing potion, wand of lightning. I just sold that. Oh well, shield ring, resistance, blah, blah. Don't need another Fletcher's ring. Don't need another shield ring. Staff. Gotta identify the plate mail. Who and the rubies and the emeralds? Magic lot picks. Those are nice. We got a lot of money doing that. Can I give these to you now? Yes. Can I give these to you? Yes. How about I give these to you? Yes. You should really be equipped with a razor disc, to be honest. Even though you just got a blessed bow. What am I thinking? You just got a blessed bow, and I'm giving you razor discs. Am I crazy? It must be. What does this do? Oh, paralyzation. You're not wearing the one or thing. You wear it. Give this to him. This does 2 to 20 plus 4, 2 to 20... 220 plus 4. Yes. Please. Okay. Alright. We have upgraded a bit. Nice. This is the place to go if I want arms and armor, it would seem. 
Oh, and you can probably identify. The man's skin seems primarily modeled by a life work of all manner of acidic and unpleasant dyes and chemicals. He raises his hand to his blue speckled cheek self-consciously. I am largely held because, well, I see where the march of your distinguished profession. Thanks, strangers, I guess. You can buy a post for me, but that is a sideline. I am at heart an a chemical researcher. You do research? Oh, yes, indeed. Aaron is an unpleasant place, but an inherently magical one. Every plant down here is magically shaped in some way in order to enable it to survive. Floor of Cow uh, Mandrake. Uh, yeah. Where might we find it? That's quite rude. You never ask now because where he gets his ingredients. You sell the same stuff. Buy potions. Neat. You're not the kind of... Nothing is left but the empty box and a counter. No. Yeah. Okay. So there's this. That was not the kind of sage that identifies things. Oh well. I've already spoken in this episode to the guy that was, uh, that was up here. So, yeah. I may not have. I did not. Clarence. That guy has nothing interesting to say. Your responsibility, just hold people's hands. Prisoners, talkative, where's the front? A lot of work. For remote. Yes. You working? Having peace. Calm. Yeah, y'all heard this. Mission, blah, blah, blah. Y'all heard this from when I spoke to them the last time. Talkative prisoner, you've heard what she has to say. I'm just going to run through it, just in case. Good enough. Okay, we have done that. What do you say we pay a visit to the front? Why not? Let's get us go for some adventure. Pay a visit to the front where all the action is. Of course, we're not going to be fighting on the front. Well, I say we're going to do the front, and I'm going the wrong way. So let me keep my promise and go this way. And this is the front. You enter a massive network of stone walls, magical barriers, traps, and every vigilant garrison of Avenue soldiers. This is the front line. This is the battleground between the lands of Avenue and the Empire. In the valley of the north, you see the Empire barricades of a teeming horde of organized, well trained troops. Both sides of the defense and here they sit in an uneasy stalemate. You move to the Empire Barricade. When you get close enough, a group of enemies will run on charge towards you. Think an easy prey. Run away quickly. The arrow went back to save the Avenue lines. The Empire soldiers shot some insults at you, and losing your bravery and return to their lines. I wonder if I could kill a few of them. This band of runs up and engages you. Yeah, I can kill these guys. Not too much of a problem. I just have to shield everybody. Once I get done shielding them... I should be fine. And then we can blast away at them. Yes, insults. What about those insults? Hmm? What about them? So I guess if we want to, uh, they're really intense about where you are. It was nice seeing them so vigilant. So I guess if we want to, we could just constantly face those uh, bands and fight them for experience. Shiny's Bazaar, two miles to the west. This is a small snow hole by this lake. Though no red leads here, there are signs of many trials come to this hut. 
There are several merchants. You're in the building. Inside, a profusion of goods, mundane and weird, are being sold. And a small, beautiful woman with long black hair wears up to you. Welcome, come in quick. Get your heart shopping done when the Empire comes. She shows herself as shiny. She says she's been running this bazaar here for years. And this is her clothes outside where we moves on the Silver Lands. Shall her special adventure section. Blessed plate mail. Oh. Oh. One to sixty. Plus to five. Oh. The rate at which health points. Oh, if I wanted to, I could spend it on blessed plate mail. Do I spend? What else am I going to use the money for? Yes! I'll take it. I spend so much money, but it's blessed plate mail. It's the best kind of plate mail you can get in the game. Ugh. Talk to them. You do know that there's a colony of Abyss refugees east of here. Reputation increase. Nice. Shopping. No. I need to find someone to identify my items. I want to know what I have in my inventory. But for now, we shall continue to explore. So that is the front, as, as it all goes. I suppose if I want to grind for experience, I could continue going there until I get so powerful they can't possibly beat me. You meet a patrol of Avernum guards. They look like they've been in any tough fights recently. They must have spent too much time in the north. The captain recognizes you. Hello, friends. I see you in this area. If you're going to be in this area for a while, I appreciate if you keep your eyes open. There's some Empire spies wandering around. They've been pretty careless, and you might be able to spot them. This right here is ruined twice over. It's the location of one of Avernus' finest first cities, but abandoned in favor of better sites. And after the Slith Wars, Avernus tried to build a new city here. At last, early in the war, during the Dairy Empire raid, the raid was raised to the ground. And there's nothing but rubble. All this potential for great things should peace ever return. Oh, this is Fort Remote. Hello, Fort Remote. I wonder if the Empire spies might happen to be around. They want to look at it carefully. They really closely look very nervous. Hello. They panic and draw their weapons. You see they're wearing makeup on their faces, covering their healthy skill tone. These must be the Empire spies. Hello, Empire Spies! <laughs> you are in the wrong place, sir. Little more shielding. Do. Ow. Now some divine fire, some more fire blast, some more divine fire, some more fire blast, and they're all dead. Hey, we found the Empire Spies. Yo. You tell the captain you killed the Empire Spies. He's not. Thank you. One less thing to worry about. Also, watch out for Rakshas in this area. We think they have a lair to the south. The things are great at creating illusions. Probably why I haven't been able to find their base. It's well hidden. Good luck to you. What, that's it? Oh, come on. That's pitiful. You couldn't give me something for all the trouble. I'm adventurers. We like getting stuff. Oh, fine. 
Also, I need to figure out how to beat these rocket shashes. Rod's been clearing well along, forming a rough path. I don't want to be in here. No, thank you. I'm not really well versed in defeating the rocket shashas because they're immune to most forms of magic. What is not pleasant? Far down the past, there's some sort of melee going on. Wrong group of homies is blasting another group of spells. You try to try to really get involved, but the decision is made for you. The group that's getting blasted flees, hanging straight towards you. You see that their avenue swords being chased by several humanoids. Before you can get out of the way, a battle is swirling around you. Ogres and rocket shashas. Well, they quickly died. <laughs> they quickly died. I did save here, but I don't want to go over there now. <laughs> oh, I really need res hmm. Why did I sell those resistant rings? I don't remember picking them up, to be honest. Why did I sell them again? They could be really useful against something like this. Anyway, Fort Remote. Let's talk to people. There's an aging wizard here reading rituals from a dog-eared spellbook. When you approach, it closes the book and looks up at you. Greetings, adventurers, for I can tell from your love that you know what it is what you must be. What are you studying? I'm preparing spells of defense. What sorts of spells do you use? Nothing complicated. Mass, hay, strength spells, and such. Things when the Empire attacks. You're expecting one? They've been pretty quiet recently, but you never know. This fort is well defended enough to withstand their assault, especially because of the runes. Can you tell us more? The outer wall is submitted with runes to channel with power defensive magic. I help create them. When we wish, anything near them is blasted the dust. Our walls are magically hardened as well. This fort can fall, but it'll take a mighty blow to defeat it. Can you teach us magic? <laughs> Your adventures are right. Always look for advantage when you can get it. But I suppose you told me, I'm not a teaching mage. I don't have the knack. Aww. There's probably nothing more we can learn anyway. Well, that's quite a sight. There's a Nephilim wearing immaculate clean air beer. I'm Mar. Are you employed? Mur, I am honored to do good cooking for this fort. How'd you want to be in the cook? This is where I ended up. I want to leave my people to travel, you see. Where have you traveled? I wanted to see this land. I traveled the great cave everywhere, but with the battles, I need a place to stop. I need where I earned employing. Employment as the fort chef? Yeah, it's just strange working for human taste. I do do okay. Sometimes people are joking. How do they joke with you? They said I wanted to put rats in the stew, but I would not do that. The rats here are not good enough. You can't tell whether he's joking or not, and you're starting to think about it. Rats aren't exactly a human delicacy. I will not serve rats to humans, and they will not be liking them. And I want all of them to myself. We really mean any out when fighting for having them. You are not of our kind. You know not our history in the Empire, the fear, the massacres. Our kind has no happy history with the humans of Avenim. We have had a sad war for many years. We know, we know now, though, that the Empire is the true enemy, the one who will kill us all without guilt. Yes, they certainly live up to that. Oh, hello. More Nephilim. Oh, you're the same guy. Never mind. Yes. Stop. What are you doing here? Middle aged woman, very long, very curly scarlet hair. She's sitting maps at her desk. She smiles guardedly. Her eyes are piercing and analytical. She sweeps over you. I am Commander Lori, daughter of Rorik. Welcome. Are you the commander? Yes, as my father was before me. I organized defenses to prepare for the Empire attacks. What happened to your father? My father was slain when a horde of demons destroyed the old fort remote. You can still find the fort's old fort's room is just to the east. When he died, I joined the army and rose up to the position in order to take his place. He's still standing on usual garb and smiles. As you can see, I made my way in my own style. 
I take it you don't care for uniforms. I don't like uniforms. I don't like uniform thinking. The Empire's force in this era are unusual, and this fort needs to be unusual to deal with them. The forts are unusual in what way? There are two large Empire outposts of the West, Kothar and Angiark. The unusual place is each in its own way. What is Kothar like? Kothar is tied on magic and magical experimentation. Strange creatures come from there, including huge, amazingly strong mutant giants. All the sort of thing an order surgeon has to deal with. How are the defenses? Much better now than whether this fort was destroyed, they have to be. Do you get many raids? They haven't attacked in a while, which is strange since when the Empire doesn't have many troops. Which is strange, since while the Empire doesn't have many troops in the West, if they broke passes, they could run wild through the Great Cave. So I'm preparing defenses looking for opportunities and looking for opportunities to attack. That reminds me. I want to finish the conversation then end. I was looking for adventures to go on missions. Most commanders have been looking at the higher Avengers. How about you? The Empire can get small groups passes, but we don't know how. We in turn want to send spies west. To do this, I need to see a blue pass. So I can make forgeries. Bring one to me and I'll try to earn you promotion to the castle. We found a blue pass. You show her your blue pass. She looks at it and says, Wait, is this your only one? You said that it is. Oh, well, I'm sure you need it more than we do. But you can find another. Try to look in your culture. I was in an empire fort there. Oh, we only have one blue pass. We already have higher clearance, though. But getting this would raise our reputation and maybe get us some money. So why not? Anyway, that is certainly it. I have done so much recording. Do you have something to say? You're a blade master. Sharpening sword. Keep blade chart. Tired of pleasure, retired. Done more than share. Hit anyway in a ruin to the north. He would teach us. Oh, ruins to the north, huh? Yes, orders. <sighs> Let's explore the rest of it. You can see I'm getting tired of recording. Door is locked. Hello. You are the priestess. Is it difficult to look after the shrine? Uh-huh. A new Ankh. Is all well? Need more protection? How do you prepare? I guess spells, what sort of attacks? Many things. Okay. We are done. I am done recording for a little while. I have a huge backlog. Which is really nice. Whew. I need a break. Oh, I have that break. Whew. Oh, see you guys later. I have so much.